everybody. I just wanted to take a few minutes and share a little bit about myself. First, I just want to thank everyone who has supported me, has given me input and feedback and critiques on my website and my Facebook page. I just thank you all so much. This is such a new journey for me. It's been a lot of work, I guess more than I expected because I have always cooked on the fly. I never measured anything or really, it's just kind of more eyeballing when it came to spices and seasonings and things like that. My dad taught me that way, so that's part of the reason Thank why. Thank you all so much for your patience and for the love that you're showing for what I'm putting out there. I've been thinking about doing something like this for a pretty long time now. As far as sharing my recipes, that's something that I've been doing just with friends and family and whenever I would cook or have barbecues or do things like that, I would always have people asking me for recipes. And so over the years, as I've t started taking more pictures now, that kind of evolved into, I guess I'll just do a website and a Facebook page and put it out there for everybody. I really feel so blessed that I'm able to do this and have the time to share some of my healthy recipes and tips and also my fitness journey with everyone. My weight has fluctuated a lot over my whole life. Uh, I went through a period where I was up to like 180, 185 and I was not in a good place. I was not healthy. I was eating a lot of processed foods. I could really feel the difference coming from being a very competitive athlete running track, playing basketball, cross country, and just being very active in general. It was really difficult for me to be overweight and unhealthy. My mood was affected. Uh, everything was, was just not good. When I joined the military, I basically I was forced to get into shape through boot camp. Was, it was a complete turnaround for me. I was in a bad place in my life before I joined. And once I went in, I had this whole network of support and discipline and it was like a family. Strong and like-minded people, but yet a lot of very different people. And so I got the opportunity to meet some great folks and learn a lot of things in the eight years that I served. It was really a great experience, but at the beginning of my career was when I lost my dad, and that was a huge blow to me. I had seen him during Christmas time. I went home on what they call Exodus holiday, and he looked great. He just, he seemed like he was doing really well, and he, he was diabetic, he had heart problems, he had pretty much all of the health issues that you'll find with people who eat poorly and he loved food he just didn't love good food like healthy food when he passed away it hit me hard and I had to cope with the loss of him and then I started kind of reevaluating myself and how I was living and how I was eating and I realized that fitness wasn't everything you know what you eat it, it really impacts so much more internally and and then externally it makes a huge impact on your performance and just your overall health fitness is important and it's a very good thing to be fit and to have uh, cardiovascular endurance and to have strength and work on those things but if you don't eat properly that can cause issues later on down the line. My father passed away and I was grieving and I was depressed. I was not eating well and I started to gain weight after all the weight that I had lost through boot camp. I started gaining it back gradually and just once again was not in a very happy place. The loss of my dad kind of was the icing on the cake for that downward spiral for me and once I started to get back on my feet and I had a good support network of friends and eventually when I met my boyfriend and my now husband, he really helped bring me out of that dark place. I started to research and look into healthy food and 
ways that I could incorporate healthy cooking without spending a ton of money because I did not make a lot of money. I took small steps. I just started incorporating more fruits and veggies, whole grains, eliminating processed foods. My love for cooking really blossomed and I was able to wing it for a while and, and make healthy food and, and I really started to feel a difference. Fast forward till about two years ago when I was pregnant with my son. was rear-ended and I dealt with some extensive physical therapy. I had shoulder injury, back injury. It really affected me. I'm still, to this day, extremely paranoid of people behind me. The accident was low speed. It actually happened twice in two months. The first time I wasn't pregnant, the second time I was, and so both with distracted drivers. So there's, there's my little little insert there, no texting and driving, please, please. I was very fortunate to just have a minor tweaked joints and nothing serious and my son was fine and there was you know nothing to worry about. The physical therapy took a really long time. I was discharged after a year and a half. I was on my own to be able to try to strengthen my joints and exercise and, and just gradually get stronger day by day and listening to my body, using the tools that I learned during physical therapy in order to get back to where I was. Once I separated, injured, pregnant, and then dealing with that. I could definitely attribute being able to get back in shape with my diet. And there were some struggles for me with the pregnancy and, and breastfeeding, I had a really bad sweet tooth. And so I would go on like these little binges where I would eat like a ton of chocolate or cookies and things like that. And it was really hard because I was so used to eating for two and say, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And once I weaned, it was really, really hard for me to cut that sweet tooth. I started gaining weight again. And this is all during the holidays. And of course, you know, you don't wanna be rude to anybody and say, oh no, 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 I can't eat that, I can't eat that. So I just ate and enjoyed and the, before I knew it, I was up in the 160s and not healthy. Just, you could just see on my body that I was not eating properly. I, once I had worked and gotten my shoulders and my back and core strong enough, I signed up at Snap Fitness and started going three to four days a week, just doing some light cardio and weight training, but I wasn't really seeing results. And so, but I really need to start cleaning up my eating, cleaned out a lot of the processed foods and brought in the, the more of the fresh ingredients. Getting back on the clean eating and I was posting a lot of pictures of my food through Instagram onto Facebook and at that point I had several people message me and say hey you know can you give me the recipe for that and this this had happened over the years periodically but this was kind of a time where there were more people than I'd had before that were asking and so I decided that I was going to start a website and in hindsight I probably would have just done the Facebook page initially, but I was not thinking too clearly. I don't know if it was maybe mom brain, because I know not everyone is on Facebook, you know, and it's just something that is universal. That's how that started. If I can just help one person, it'll be all worth it to me because I would give anything to have my dad here just just for a little longer so that I could cook meals for him and show him that you can overcome so much by what you put in your body. That's why I do it. For him, I do it for my family, I do it for myself, and now I do it for you. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you have any questions or you'd like to email me, if there's anything else that you'd like to see, just 
send me a message. You can also go to my Facebook page, Wonderfully Made Health and Fitness, and I also have the web page, which I'll post the link at the end of this video. So I appreciate your time and thank you so much for all your support and I look forward to hearing from you soon.